wrist pain. Is wrist pain something that you're struggling with? I'm Dr. Matthew Poza. This week we're going to be talking about wrist pain, carpal tunnel, and what you can do to help it. One of the major things that people tend to forget about the wrist is that there's a lot of little bones in there. The position of your wrist is super important. If you were to lay your hand and arm again uh, on a table or on a book or anything like that, you want to lay it so everything is nice and flat and then you want to curl your hand a little bit so you get slight extension. This is the normal resting position of your wrist. So in this position, you're not going to strain uh, any of the carpal bones, but more importantly, you're also going to relax a lot of the muscles that control this area. So you do want to make sure. So this is why a lot of the times if you work in an office environment, they're going to, you can get an ergonomic assessment. They're going to look at the position of your wrist. Again, you want that slight extension in your wrist. If you're typing and you're noticing that your wrist is down, things like that, then a lot of the times is you're just straining your wrist the whole time and, and you're doing that day in and day out and eventually your body's gonna let you know. One of the best ways to prevent this is always making sure that your wrist is an extension. When you're working out, one of the major things that people uh, tend to forget also is that wrist position. If you're doing like shoulders or anything like that or you're lifting and you're, and you're pulling, whatever you're doing, make sure your wrist is slightly in an extension position. Um, so if I'm doing, you know, shoulders, then I want to make sure that as I'm doing that, I'm keeping my wrist slightly extended instead of down. So if you're lifting, you're doing anything like this, then you're going to be straining those muscles. Another great tip that you want to make sure that you're doing, you can actually strengthen your wrist by doing uh, wrist exercises. One of the best things that uh, they do in hockey is that they take a broomstick, they just drill a hole through the middle of the broomstick, uh, put a piece of cord that attaches down to some weights, and twirl the stick so that the cord starts to wrap around and then the weight comes up and then you want to undo that. Now that motion of constantly moving that actually builds real, uh, wrist strength. So that's a great little tip that you can use. And the last thing that I want to bring to your attention is especially carpal tunnel. You know, one of the most uh, failed surgeries that we have is carpal tunnel. And mostly because it comes down to what's causing the carpal tunnel. So again, if it's any of those reasons we talked about before, well then that needs to be addressed before you even consider it. But the most important thing that you want to do is you want to understand what controls that area. So if we take back to the wrist here, so we have all the bones, what controls these bones in their positioning has to do with further up, which is the muscles in the forearm. So those muscles in the forearm are controlled by what? And if you said nerve, you got it right. So the nerves come up, they come all the way, and they come out of your spine right around the, the neck. So what I want to do is I want to show you an x-ray, somebody we took yesterday that, uh, that came in with a severe neck pain and a wrist pain. They're getting the carpal tunnel and I'll show you what we found on the x-ray. Here's the x-ray that we took. You could see at C5 and C6 right in the bottom here, you could see those bones are really starting to change. The disc's height, so the height between C4 and 5, you can see how big the disc is. Look how small that disc is. You can really see the effect there. You can even see some bone spurring and some changes in there. So those changes to that area of the spine are definitely at play and, and are a major cause to why this person is not only getting the neck pain, but they're also getting the symptoms of those nerves that are traveling down their neck into their arms and of course into the wrist. And a lot of their pain that they're feeling is coming from there. So that x-ray pretty much sums it up. We have all those bones that are degenerating, that are breaking down, and that's what's causing it. So as a chiropractor, you always want to go to the cause of something and not necessarily just look at where the pain is. And that's very tricky, especially when it comes to people's health. So if you have any questions about this video in particular or any other health questions, feel free to reach out. You can reach me at dr.matt at thehealthyfamily.ca. You can visit us online, www.thehealthyfamily.ca or you can give us a call, 905-864-1516, or pay us a visit, come into the office. We'd love to see if we can help you, if we can provide service to you, but more importantly, if we can help you live the life you were designed to live. Until next week, have a great day, take care.